naniniwala ako na ang pinaka-best way for you to learn working or metal working is to build something. So on this video, with zero knowledge in welding, we're going to build this welding car. Intro. Okay, welcome sa part 2 ng ating metalworking series from scratch where I document my journey in metalworking. So dun sa episode 1, sinetap natin si Lotus MIG welding machine and I had my very first taste of welding which is awesome. At sa video na to, I will build this awesome welding card. And at the same time, i-discuss ko rin yung four major tools or accessories when it comes to metalworking at yung mga challenges na na-experience ko while using these tools. Okay, and before we start, I would like to thank Lotus Tools Philippines for sponsoring this metalworking series na ginagawa ko. You know, when I reach out to Lotus, Lotus Tools Philippines at sinabi ko sa kanila na it is my dream project to document how to acquire a skill for from scratch and luckily they love the idea so and the time ayon part two na so thank you lotus first on the list Grinder. Lotus Tools Philippines provided me with two grinders, one for cutting and one for grinding. Problem in encounter for when it comes to grind to grinder. You mean pag overcome ng fear. Na na implant sa uta ko by watching YouTube videos, by watching Facebook videos, kasi sabi nila sobrang delikado ng grinder, which is true. However, I have to set aside the fear, so I wear all the necessary PPE and start cutting, grinding. Then, I realized, hindi naman pala siya talaga ganun nakakatakot, hindi naman siya ganun kadelikado. You just really need to be careful. Extra careful. Pangalawang tools, chop saw. Madami akong naririnig ng tools at chop saw. Kesyo, i-accurate yung cut, nag-flex yung blade, and somehow, I agreed to that. But I think I have a very simple solution for you. Number one, put it down. Put it on the floor. Na-experience ko siya eh. Kasi, nung pinatong ko siya sa workbench, naramdam ko nag -e exert ako ng 100% na effort, full force nung arm ko lang. So, nakakangalay siya. And at the same time, pinapersa ko talaga siya. So, what I did, I tried to put it down, nilagay ko siya sa floor. At instead na yung arm ko lang yung nagpo-force, ngayon, yung, yung body ko na, yung buong katawang ko na, tapos yung arm ko na, hindi na ganun kapagod. And then, I am letting the blade do the work. Mas may punting lambing kesa doon sa talagang prep. Pero sa'yo mo siya nakaangat sa workbench. So, I think yun yung very simple solution doon sa pag-flex ng blade niya. Just let the blade do the work, put it down. Exert yung body mo ng effort, kunting effort lang ng body mo, tsaka yung arm mo. I think that's the most simplest solution that I can come up with when it comes to using chop saw. Another concern ko sa chop saw, in general sa metalworking, ang malaking tanong ko, kailangan ba 
ganun ka-accurate yung cut. Ganun ka-consistent yung mga cut dun sa mga metal. Kasi napapanood ko sa YouTube, they are simply measure, cut, measure, cut, measure, cut. Walang stop blocks. So sa metal working yun yung pinakamalaking tanong ko. Kailangan ba consistent lahat? So nagtanong ako ng aring mga metal worker friends online. At isa yung sagot nila. In metal working, kapag off yung cut mo ng 1 mm or 2 mm, okay lang. Forgivable siya. Kaya siyang i-cover up sa actual welding na. Pero hindi ko naman sinasabi na huwag kang maging careful pag cut nun. O kasi okay lang i-cover up mo siya. Mas okay pa rin na consistent yung cut mo. Pero kung napansin mo na off ng konti, okay lang. Pangatlo, PPE, Personal Protective Equipment. From cutting metal to welding, to grinding, kailangan lagi natin ng protection. Eye protection, hearing protection, mask, especially helmet. And this helmet from Lotus, mayroon siyang auto-darkening feature na ka. Pwede mo siyang etyas kung gaano kadiling ba. So this is a must. As well as gloves. Yung metal kasi sobrang init niya pagkakat mo, pagkagrind mo at kung wala kang masaksidente, nahawakan mo siya. Medyo masakit, medyo nakakapaso siya. So, gloves, helmet. Thank you, Lotus, for providing this awesome PP. Problema when it comes to PP na na-encounter ko. Isa lang. Walang PP na designed para sa badbas. So, siguro sa project na to, kalahati ng balbas ko naupos, nasunog. Which is okay lang. Tutubo din yan. At ang pinakamalaga when it comes to metal working, welding machine. And this MIG welding machine from Lotus, it can do two things when it comes to welding. It can do art and it can do MIG. Sa so, totoo lang, sobrang blessing ng isang MIG welding machine sa mga katulad ko na frustrated furniture maker. Tanyo niyo ang bakit. Kasi sobrang dali niyang gabi-gabi. Talking about the challenge now, dun sa bawat joints, nabubutasan na ko eh. Nasusunog siya. Hindi ko alam kung bakit. So I asked for that. I asked our friends online. At isa yung sabi nila, mataas yung ampers ko. And the moment I lowered it down, dun na ako nag-enjoy. Nasolve na yung pag nag-weweld ako ng mga joints, my third joints, hindi na siya nabubutas na ako pag full weld na ako. So, doon na nagtuloy-tuloy yun.
By the way, lahat ng tools na nakikita niyo na ginagamit ko dito from PPE to welding machine to cutting to grind, grinder chop. So, magnets. Lahat yan nasa description ng video na to. So, kung may napupusuan kayo, check out the links below. Okay? May nabasa ako na sabi Learning how to learn is life's most important skill Tumatak sa utak ko yun That's why I am continuously learning new skill At nung nakapos ko itong welding part na to Tuwan-tuwa ako Kasi alam ko na simula na ito ng mas madami at mas maganda pang builds in the future Okay, that's it for now. Ako si Daniel ng Film That Build. Like, subscribe my channel, and see you on part 3. For now, adios amigos.